Your privacy probably isn't as protected as you think and hope it is. In honor of this weekend's 25th anniversary of the signing of HIPAA, Fox 6 investigator Amanda St. Hilaire shows us what that law really does. Let's talk privacy. Ask strangers to share personal information. Sorry, not today. Do you want to answer a few questions for us? All right. No, thanks. It'll be real quick, I promise. You probably won't get far. Did you change your mind? But ask for opinions about sharing personal information. Step right up to the microphone. Suddenly, everyone wants to chat. I think that's got to be a personal choice. I worked for a school district. You had to have your child vaccinated. I think they need to understand that they need to protect their, their medical rights. But first, we should know what those rights are. What is HIPAA? HIPAA, ooh, I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> HIPAA? I have no idea. That's a big topic. Um, that's a good question. Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's all right. A lot of people don't. You're not alone. I feel like that's an important thing to know if we're looking at it in a pandemic context. So let's talk about HIPAA. No, HIPAA. No, HIPAA the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996. It offers opportunity by allowing people to take their health insurance from job to job. Wait, what does that have to do with privacy? Originally, not much. We had a patchwork of state privacy laws, but we only got baseline federal protection of health information when HIPAA's privacy rule went into effect in 2003. Increasingly, we will have to ask ourselves, does our freedom include privacy. When it comes to what information HIPAA actually protects, there's still some confusion. So I think that's HIPAA. Your first question is a violation of my HIPAA rights. People believe it actually applies to them and protects them when in many cases it doesn't. Meet attorney Jeremy Shapiro Barr. I try not to be obnoxious about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's sometimes I feel the need to speak up. He says HIPAA lets you access your own medical information and prevents your doctor, health insurance, and certain health vendors from releasing that information without your permission. HIPAA won't hide your address, your favorite color, or your dog's name from the public. And it won't protect your information from your gossipy coworker, judgy relative, or nosy neighbor. HIPAA applies to health entities that have your health records. There are a lot of nuances. For the most part, your doctor giving your boss your health records without your permission, that's a HIPAA violation. But your boss asking you for proof of vaccination, not HIPAA. Summerfest? Yeah, organizers of uh, festivals are not governed by HIPAA. Really anyone asking you if you're vaccinated. HIPAA does not apply in that situation. There are other privacy laws that kick in at school and work, and no one is stopping you from sharing your own information or opinions with whomever you want. It's a pretty unique circumstance that we're in. Just no HIPAA is not the privacy catch-all you might have thought. Amanda St. Hilaire, Fox 6 News. Now, there are times when others can get your health records without your permission. Amanda will speak about that on the next episode of our podcast, Open Record. Subscribe today so you won't miss the conversation.